Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and this is another Chatswood dive site update video as of the middle of November 2021. Exactly the same as all my previous videos. I'll show you some footage from the train and then I'll go to the Mowbray Road Bridge and show you some footage from there. So this is slowed down footage on a train from Chatswood towards Artarman. This video logically follows on from my October 21 update so I encourage you to watch that one first. I'll include a few snippets from that video to help you see the changes. This structure coming into view at the start of the dive site looks pretty much finished now. Its purpose is possibly an emergency exit or access to a service tunnel. Here is how it looked just five weeks ago. On the northbound retaining wall, the areas between each supporting pile have been filled in with concrete, as you can see here. Here is how it used to look. However, closer to the northbound exit, the supporting piles are still quite visible and it looks like the earthworks to allow the northbound line to access the tunnel has finished as well. Five weeks earlier the ground wasn't quite so even and if you look at the tunnel entrance you can see what looks like the concrete track bed. And although you can't really see it the earthworks to create the track bed to allow the southbound line to access the tunnel has also been completed. In October there was still soil dirt and stones to be removed. And this has allowed the southbound tunnel portal to reopen. It's nice to be able to see the lights inside. Here is a reminder of the barricaded south tunnel entrance from last month. You can see some of the excavated soil and other materials just here. Let's now take a look in the other direction. You can see some precast concrete segments here. I'll show you where these are being installed and what they might be used for a little later in this video. Now going over the southbound tunnel entrance, you can now see the southbound line retaining wall and behind it you can see those precast concrete segments that I mentioned earlier. This will be easier to see from the Mowbray Road Bridge so keep watching. Now crossing over the northbound tunnel exit, you'll now get a better view of the southbound retaining wall and you can see what looks like stone slabs. It could be forming the foundation for the track bed. Notice that the pile supports are no longer visible on the southbound retaining wall. They were clearly visible last month. You can see how much smoother the ground for the track bed is now and also the consistent uphill gradient. Here is another flashback to last month. And seeing this emergency access or perhaps entrance to a service tunnel structure again, you can see how this has changed in a little over five weeks. From the Mowbray Road Bridge, you can see how these precast concrete segments are forming some kind of trench I'm not sure of the purpose, but it's likely to be either drainage or to hold electrical cables. Here is a closer view of this concrete trench and notice the precast concrete segments to the right of it. And from here you get a different view of the ground for the track bed and how it's gently ascending and how it's smoother it is now as well. All this footage was taken on Saturday the 20th of November 2021. So being a weekend, there were very few construction workers around. So I hope you enjoyed this Chatswood dive site update video. If you did, do give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, and do leave a comment below. And if you have any questions, leave those below as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. If you haven't already subscribed to the Transport Vlog YouTube channel, then please do. And also consider supporting me on Patreon as well. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.